but nothing's gonna nothing's gonna fly like this right oh what did I just do <laughs> uh, how do we stop it watch out donkey you're gonna get hit <laughs> um, okay stop thank you uh, pretty sure that's not a flying flying machine <laughs> Welcome back, all you choppers and hoppers, to another episode of Chop Chop. <laughs> chop Chop, Chop Chop, with me, Martin Smartin. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing alright. I am doing way better. I got rid of that stupid COVID and I am feeling 100 or maybe 98% again, so that's fine. And I'm definitely ready to start recording again. So in the last episode we made the wither skeleton farm and we got lost, or not got lost, but we lost the wither. I still haven't found it and I am never gonna found it, so let's just leave him be, living his best life, shooting those skulls all over the world. <laughs> also, uh, what else did we do? Yeah, we did the watchtower, you know, uh, by the Zelda Breath of the Wild area over there and we did a little fishing cabinet on the other side of the mountain behind me here. Yes, that's what we were up to and also dying a lot in the nether. For today, I have I have some plans, so I think it's time to do some quality of life upgrades and I want to start in this area here. You see, we are at the point now in this series where we have a big fashioned, uh, big iron farm, we have a big creeper farm, we have elytra so we can fly, all of this. We are at end game, basically. And I am still harvesting this stuff manually. <laughs> so whenever I want rockets, I have to go over here and I have to punch this down. Like so. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. So I still have a lot of this here and here as well. So there's no, there's no desperation going on. But I think we could do a flying machine over here today to, yeah, to do, uh, do one of those... Farm. So let me turn this on and let me bring out some of this stuff here. So what's this? This is supposed to be sugarcane. I don't know why I brought the green wool. That's supposed to be something else. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be bamboo. And then I think we're gonna have this for that blue uh, nether thing that shoots up through the ground. And then we have the red nether thing that hangs from the ground. And if we move everything over by one like, <laughs> like this... <laughs> Then we can also take this, which is supposed to be dripstone. So, for any of you guys that watch Hermitcraft, you might have seen Cubfan and his amazing uh, contraption from Season 8, where he did a uh, combined sugarcane and dripstone and everything farm. And I think I want to give my hand at that. But I'm not going to watch his video for it. I'm not going to... Yeah, basically, we're going to try some redstone today again. And <laughs> we all know how that usually goes. <laughs> So we're gonna do that, and let's just start planning it out a bit, and then we can discuss what else we are going to do. Okie dokie, everything has been cleared out and put together again, so now we have a big open space here. And that actually makes me think that... Hello, Juan. So, let's just try and plan this out. So, sugar cane, let's pretend that this is water, then we have like... We have a water source, and then we can place sugarcane all around it, like this, can we? No, I think we cannot play plant here. We also have to be mindful of the uh, arms of the flying machine, because they can be eight wide, I think, in both directions. Meaning, a total of 16 wide, plus whatever in the middle of the flying machine. We don't need to do it that big though, but let's do one more. I think that could be wrong and that could be good with one more. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's perfect. That's that's a decent size. We don't have to go overkill. Okay, so I think that's gonna be plenty of sugar cane because it's gonna harvest everything all the time. So we don't need it much bigger than that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That means that after that we could just have some bamboo, and bamboo doesn't need water, so we can just smack it along like this, then. Yeah, and I think we're good with two rows, to be honest, that's enough. So then, next thing growing from the ground are the blue stuff, so let's have two rows of the blue uh, warped uh, 
spirally things that you can climb. Warped vines, is that the name? Okie dokie, and then we will go over to what hangs from the ceiling then. So we will have the red ones hanging from the ceiling, and I guess we will have two of those as well, right? And of course we need the dripstone, pointed dripstone. Let's see how this looks. That's a very modest farm, very small. Do you know what? We don't need more. Okay, so here comes the tricky part now. We want to figure out how those flying machines work. I've built them once and that was from a guide. So I have no idea how I did it. So let's, I know that these aren't movable. So let's build a little wall here of this stuff. My world is glitching there. Okay, so I know if we fly against this, it's gonna stop, so we don't lose our flag machine. And then maybe just run over and do the same. Perfect. So, flying machines. They use... Of course they use observers. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's put one here. I think that's it. Or are they looking up and down? So that fires, that's good. So can you push one of those with one of these? That's the question. I think you can. But let's try. You can definitely do that. That's good to know. Thank you. So I'm thinking we should, should probably have an observer watching that one, right? Like that. So when that updates, this one sees it and sends a redstone signal through here, which then causes... What does it cause? <laughs> this is hard. So I'm thinking this one should probably be here instead. Like that. So this one fires, that one sees it, sends it over here, this one fires, boobity boom. But nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna fly like this, right? Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> uh, how do we stop it? Watch out, donkey! You're gonna get hit. <laughs> um, okay, stop. Thank you. Uh, pretty sure that's not the flying flying machine <laughs> hmm okay welcome back I uh, I gave up not gave up but um, yeah I, I tried some different uh, things and uh, none of them seem to work but now I think I've got it so basically what we want to do is we want let's say we want some slime like this and then we want Oh! <laughs> that actually worked. So if I do this now, or this one, goes the other way around. Okay, we made it work. I had to look up some of it and I had to figure some of it out. And now what we have to do is now... I want to build it above this one instead, and I think we're gonna have to do two. So we're gonna have to do one that goes one block off the ground here, saving the, the bottom ones for the sugar cane and the bamboo and the blue stuff. And then we're gonna have another one in the ceiling for these two hanging off, going one block beneath the ceiling, basically. Or two blocks. Yeah, you know. Let me tinker away with that and uh, we can see if we can get the functioning farm up and then I will get back to you after that, okay? Welcome back everyone and we now have a... Well, in not fully functioning farm, but we have a functioning farm minus the flying machines basically. So we have the dripstone part up here, we have the red dangly things over there, the blue twirly things over here, bamboo and sugarcane. And then we have our Standard collecting uh, collection system here with two minecart systems going up here for the unloaders And it goes up and it should be emptying 
if there was anything in it, but it is not right now, okay? So this is working fine, and then... Huh, that system leads into a sorting system where we are sorting the things that we are growing, of course. What I want to do now is I want to set up the flying machines, and it's going to be two of them, and then we're going to hook those up to uh, some sort of um, sending off thingy. Okay, I think... I think we have the first one done. Problem is, I don't know which... Where to put the stoppers, basically. I think so we're gonna put one there as well. So this could go terribly, 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 terribly wrong now. We could actually send this one... No, it's not gonna go wrong. Let's uh, give it a try of the fly. So let's see. I think if I uh, smack this one, just boop, then uh, off it should go. Yes, so far so good. Let's see if we can beat it down here and see which one catches it. Oh, it's both of them. So I have no idea, but <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep both of them because at least we know at least we know it worked, right? Perfect, perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to build one of those up there as well for this one and I think we need to build it upside down okay if I am not mistaken these two blocks should catch the other one so uh, yeah let's send it on its way and see what happens yes <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is a uh, very nice. Okay, perfect. So I am happy. This is gonna. This is actually gonna. Should we try and send it back just to see if it gets caught over there? Good. Good. <laughs> Learning redstone here, guys. Learning redstone. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to build a mechanism that will send this off, not to often and not too rarely at just the right time you guys we might have solved this um let's try it out i will and please come back let's see come on come on <laughs> uh oh no it broke <laughs> Gosh darn it. Hmm. Okay, let me take this down and fix it, and uh, I will see you guys after that. <laughs> I am not good with redstone. <laughs> we did it, guys. I finally figured it out. And <laughs> I'm very happy to say that everything is now working flawlessly. So... The modifications I had to do was, first of all, the dripstone wasn't, well, it was dripping, but it wasn't growing. And it figures, I checked the wiki and, see, it needs to be hanging from a dripstone block. It was hanging from stone blocks. So now that's fixed and they are growing, which is good. Everything else is the same, I think. Yes. So what I did is this observer here will see this dripstone block. And when that one grows down to here, or if there is a stalag, well, the stalag other thing that goes from the ground, that goes up to here, it will send this one off. So let me demonstrate. No, wait, before we do that, I managed to solve the return station here. So if we have, do we have, oh, we have my favorite scaffolding block, the slime. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Great scaffolding there. <laughs> Again. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Okay, let's walk. So, when the flying machine comes over here, it will run into this observer, which will send a signal down to this repeater that I set for four ticks, which is long enough for this one to only flip-flop once and send it off. So that's 
what was wrong before. P previously we just had the redstone line and that uh, made this go bananas. Sending signals all over the place, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's fixed. So let's try this one first, shall we? Ripstone grows. Boom, boom. And next one, boom. Off we go. And that one goes off. Perfect. And then... Boom! Ha 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 ha! And then it comes back here to dock until this one has grown again. What I really like about this circuit is that this one has to grow quite far, leaving ample time for everything to grow big here. That is good. And the same with the other one. So I hooked up, I realized that it was hooked up to this sugarcane here going to this observer. And when it grows up there, it will send it off. Problem is that this one wasn't being broken. So now I hooked up a piston to the same redstone signal here. So one signal goes off over there, sending the flying machine off. The other one goes down here into the piston, breaking the sugarcane and restarting the whole cycle. Good, right? So let's just try it out as well. Oh! <sighs> Uh, help! <laughs> I guess we can fly out. So l now it will send it off and it will break it. Boom! See? Perfect! And then over here we have the same observer sending uh, the thingy away. Bye bye. So this means that this, uh, this these two flying machines should only be active when they have significant growth in the farm to collect. Meaning uh, it shouldn't be uh, running around all the time causing lag. And that is very nice. I'm super proud of this. However, please don't show this to any of the redstone geniuses out there. Like Mambo or uh, Etho or anyone. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you could do this way better and way smaller than I did. But again, I'm very happy with it because I set it up myself. And I came up with most of it myself. So... GG, Martin. Now, what remains is to cover this whole thing up because it does not look good and we want it to look a little bit good, right? So, without further ado, let's jump into a little time lapse and uh, chop it away!
Alrighty then, we are done and welcome back. Or welcome back and we are done. <laughs> Here it is. This is our new sugarcane, bamboo, dripstone and uh, the nether thingy factory. And I uh, like it. I like it a lot. So, I... I was thinking long and hard about what to build here and it took me a couple of days to come up with some sort of design. And I figured I wanted something that could tie into that place over there. The, the storage room that we have. Storage room? That's a big room. Well, so then I started thinking, yeah, let's start to build some sort of factory, but I don't want it to look exactly like that. So I decided that we were going to have this in like two parts. So. We have this wooden structure here, and that wooden structure is the original factory. And then, time has passed, and you know, stuff has, stuff has happened. <laughs> and uh, then someone else came and took over this place, similar to the story in this one. And they expanded with this house here. So that's why we have the brick over here and the wood over there. So, let's take a little flyby, shall we? Just look at it from the air. It's always nice to look at stuff from the air. So I figured these big windows up here is gonna be a lot of light letting in into the factory. It's not really working in Minecraft lighting though because we have roof. Oh, I just want to show you the roof. <laughs> Let's land here. Yeah, so we have roof uh, on top of everything. So there's no light really going straight down. But we have other stuff inside to, uh, to light it up and help the crops grow. Yes, we do. And then I added these two uh, smokestacks here, which I think, well, they're kind of small, so they don't uh, they don't look like much, but they add something. They add add height to the build and they add uh, they add they add uh, life, life to the build. And also what else that adds life are these these like uh, I don't know some it could be security cameras, it could be just, you know, alarms, or it could be some sort of monitoring system blinking away. So I added those a little bit here and there, and we have the air ducts over here venting out all the used up air in there, and we have these piping systems going on here and just flushing out whatever waste the factory produces, and I like that. And also, over here, we have a real pipe, actually, flushing out water, and if we open this, nothing happens. That's fantastic. And some more waste over here. And then here on the back, I added this little uh, crane here, or whatever it's called, that could potentially, could potentially, you know, hoist stuff out of the factory into some sort of a loading bay here. So what I want to do now is I want to give some more life to this build and not just plop it on the ground, but I want to add m stuff here and over there on the side and between these buildings. So we need to do that today, I think. So, this is looking very boring and very... Well, there's just a house here. There's nothing, there's nothing going on, there's no streets, no nothing. We need to add stuff here, over there, and over here, and also the street. And I think, actually, what I want to do here, I want to maybe tear this up again. I think we might keep this from here on out, the dirt path. And then this place here will actually be a real street. And the real street will go all the way over here as well to the new factory, both there and here. Because it just doesn't feel natural to have these big buildings and dirt roads leading up to them. How are trucks going to run on dirt roads to get to and from these factories. So let me tinker away with that a bit and uh, maybe we do a little time lapse of it and then I can uh, let you guys back in when I have something more to show for, okay?
Okie dokie, we are done and uh, welcome back everyone. So, let's take a look at this, shall we? What I have done now is I've done all of the roads here as you've seen before and then we've done these like concrete sort of, I don't know, working areas, staging areas outside of the factory. We also made these parking lots here for trucks because of course we need trucks here for the goods going in and out of the factories, right? And another big old plate over here. And then I guess we need to plop something on top of here and do this nice, but we will do that another time. What I want to focus on now is I want to add some trucks here. So I think we have six, yes, six parking lots for trucks. And I don't think I want to build six trucks. I've never even built one in my life, so <laughs> uh, we'll we'll settle for a couple. Uh, so maybe one truck here, and maybe a trailer here, and maybe another trailer over there, and a small truck over there, or or something like that. That's what we're gonna do. So let's gather up some materials and uh, start building. So maybe we can put one tire here and one tire there for the f uh, so that's wrong immediately <laughs> but like that yes and then maybe we need another how do we do it back here do it like this perhaps yes 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 we can try something like that okie dokie so i think buttons go on top of here or on top of the side here to make the wheels be a little bit more like wheels and then i think we are going to do some Slabberinos, like a so. Okay, so that could be a good base for a truck, right? Oh, 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 oh. I think this is good, and we have a truckload of zombies here right now. Should we get rid of them? Oh. Super snipe. If you can snipe with a sword, that is. So, uh, here we will put... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great one. Ah, oh, mm, baby, bah. <laughs> I hate the babies. Ah, two babies. No. Whoa. <laughs> ah, there are so many. Hide, hide. Oh, wait. We can hide in here, right? Ha 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 You can't get me. <laughs> Children are the worst in this game, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? For the truck. Something going on there. Yes. And then... Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. We have one uh, truck complete. And now I would like to do a uh, trailer as well. <sighs> God, I hate zombies. Welcome back. It's me, your favorite needle cushion, Martins Martin. Um, <laughs> oh, I just lost an arrow. Listen up, guys. I think this... Yeah, I'm... Let, let's take a look at what we've done. But I think we're gonna wrap this up now. So I have the trailer here somewhat done and uh, I think it needs refinement. But we are two weeks into making this episode because of, well, life got in the way and uh, I didn't have all the time. So yeah, we need to we need to work harder on this. So but yeah, the, 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 the trailer is gonna be great, I think. And also I'm, uh, I'm liking the truck. I mean, yes, we need to do more on this truck, but I'm liking it. And also, let's take a fly, because we have made some massive progress on our base this week. We made this big uh, sugarcane farm, and bamboo farm, and the blue and the red twirly farm, and the... Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did this. No. There's a skeleton down there. Yes. So I was saying, we did a dripstone farm too. Pointed dripstone, that's what we did. And all of these roads, and I think these roads turned out cool. So what I want to do when I have some time over is I want to... I want to make at least one more vehicle here, maybe two. And also, I would like to stick a forklift perhaps here. And maybe one in the back as well. So there is a ton of stuff to do here. But I don't think we are going to be able to stick all of that in this episode, because then this episode will never come out. And uh, we can't have that, can we? 
So, I would like to say thank you guys so much for watching and sticking in there waiting for this episode. I also noticed just today when I recorded this outro that we're closing in on 100 subscribers. We are at 95 right now and I would, based on last year, I would have never believed that we would be at 100 subscribers right now, this early in the year. So, until next week, I would like to thank you so much for watching, as I said, and take care and let me know in the comments also what would you like to do for a hundred subscribers special? Maybe we should do something fancy, build something, do a tour of something, or I don't know, I have no idea. I never had a hundred subscribers before, but I feel like we should celebrate it. So in the comments, let me know what we should do. And this is Martin Smartin signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye.